You may be wondering, Emily, why are you putting the genders of the quotes you read? Well, let me explain. There's a new group on Facebook named Home and Parents that support the school board. And of course, I requested to be in it since I do sit on this board. And oddly enough, I was only in it for a few minutes before I was removed. And I barely got to scroll through all the posts. But I did have time to find a post that said the following. As much as I respect Emily and don't want to attack her, she obviously represents the views of her dad and not necessarily the student body. And then in another post made by the same person, I think the board and community need to see that the current student representative is not truly representing the student body, the full student body, but instead her dad's views, end quote. So I included the gender of the earlier quotes because I'm a 17-year-old woman who knows what I stand for and what I represent. Surprisingly enough, I can do my own research and mature enough to make my own opinions. And I'm not usually the type to use the word sexist, but saying that I only represent my dad's views is sexist and demeaning, because if there was a man in my position, he would never be treated like this. There was a time when I was scared to voice my own opinion because I was scared of getting canceled or worried about what others thought about me because of comments like that. And it's also unfortunate that this post was written by another woman, even though it's human decency, especially woman to woman, to lift each other up rather than put them down. So that is why I included genders, to show that I'm not the only young woman with opinions that don't agree with yours. I would also like to remind people that I was elected into this position by students, a popular vote. If you want accurate and clear data about how students really feel, take a poll. No matter what side I support, people are going to disagree with me. I spoke my true colors knowing what I was getting myself into. It was not my dad talking into a little speaker in my ear. And at the end of the day, I would never put anyone down for standing up for their own beliefs. Hats off to all the people who spoke today. Even if I didn't agree with a lot of people who talked tonight, I wouldn't make a Facebook post tonight saying about how they only listen to their parents because I believe that people can think for themselves. <clears throat> I would like to end my report with a thank you to all the community members, friends, and family for all the support this past month, and I wouldn't be in this position if I knew I was alone. And as of tonight, there is one positive case in the high school, or as of last night, there is one district, or there is one positive case in the high school and six district-wide. Thanks.